Hello again, Amber Kane here, textile artist and creativity educator. And today I'm here to show you the second part of creating a crocheted cowl. In the first video, I taught you about chain stitch and double crochet. And today you're going to learn how to take those two stitches, put them together, and create yourself a wonderful wearable crocheted cowl. Um, when I do this, we are going to learn about crocheting in the round. Um, it makes it a lot easier so that you don't have to worry about edges, counting stitches, and once you get the first two rows done, you can really just go ahead and go for it. So, um, as in the written directions, I tell you to crochet about 28 inches. Um, I'm telling you this instead of a specific amount of stitches so that you can do the type of yarn that you want as well as the size crochet hook that you want. Um, all of my patterns and instructions are designed so that you have some freedom in creating your own design um, as well as so you don't have to count stitches because I myself absolutely hate counting stitches. So. You will find if you want to have more of an infinity scarf, so one that you can wrap around your head several times, you should just double the length that I gave you. So we are going to connect our chain. So you should have a long chain right now. Okay. We're going to connect the two ends, which is really, really super simple. So you are going to take your chain. You want to find the other end and we are going to take our crochet hook and do what's called a single crochet. So you're going to take your crochet hook and put it through the end so that you're you're all connected here and then go ahead wrap around your yarn and you are going to take you have one two stitches going on here you're going to take them both off of your crochet hook so that you have a complete circle now you are going to go ahead and do double crochet the whole way around it. Um, for this row you do still really need to pay attention. After this row you can pop a movie in and enjoy yourself. Uh, you need to make sure that your chain that you're going into does not get twisted or your, your actual finished product will be all twisted. So you're going ahead and doing double crochet into your chain. But now that it's in a circle, there's really no beginning and no end. So you don't have to count. Um, you can just go ahead and keep on going around and crocheting. Which is why this is one of my favorite projects to do. I do this one a lot when we are traveling. Um, because it's really easy to throw in a bag. It's also really easy to start and stop it because at this point you're just going to continue going until you either run out of yarn or you are happy with the actual width of your crocheted cow. And once you are satisfied with it, um, you will just cut the end of your yarn off and tie it in a knot and it will be ready to wear. So what I would love for you to do is after you finish your project, take a photo of you or a friend wearing it, email it to me. Uh, my email is right below this video and I will share a collection of your projects. You can also look, I put a link to my Pinterest board of crocheted cows and just crochet inspiration in general. So go ahead and click on those and follow them so that you can start to collect more ideas. And tune in next week when I will be teaching you how to do one of my other favorite stitches, the shell crochet, which is just as easy. Um, it is a really, really beautiful stitch and there are a lot of wonderful things that you can do with it. If you are struggling or have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email and I will do my very best to help you out. Um, enjoy your crocheting and I can't wait to see your finished projects. 